Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way because that is what you believe about yourself, your whole reality. Everything you believe is your creation. Everything's inside us, folks. That's the bottom line. It's all perception. Nuggets, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 141. NASDAQ up 5. S&P's down 9. Gold contract up $7, trading at 13.13 an ounce. Silver up 11 cents. Trading $15.49 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 80 cents, $59.83 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note up 21.6, 123.14. We are at the high for the last 12 months, folks. Bottom line, uh, 10 year wants to do an ABC structure on the way up. It's barreling into the high, has the volume. That's going to get us to about a 128. And yield wise, we are at the lows of the past 12 months. Right now, right here, 2.528 on the 10-year. The high of the last 12 months, folks, is 3.237, so pretty intense. We're talking about 7 tenths of 1% higher. So guess what? Real estate, refinancing, all of the above, you can start looking at it. Uh, the refinancing part is going to get interesting because I'm going to go over this 10-year. It looks to me like the 10-year is going to do a monster ABC structure on the way down, and that will bring the 10-year to about 2.1. So that would be pretty intense, uh, and that would be a great way. Uh, there's no doubt. You talk about uh, when you think that the bond market, at, if we go back six months, bond market was saying, hey, the Fed was saying that we're going to be at 3.1%. 3 the market was never saying that. that. That's what's so cool about how these notes and bonds have traded. Um, you know, bottom line, market was right. Uh, what the Fed did out here today, Fed turned around and said that there's not going to be zero rate hikes in 2019. They felt that there's going to be a one rate hike in 2020. And the statistic on this, folks, goes like this. This is pretty, this is a wild statistic. There's been three times that this has happened since 1970. And what, it, what, is, what has happened uh, each time that the Fed had turned around and said, okay, listen, uh, we're going to stay flat uh, for this year, and then next year we're going to go up on the interest rates. Well, it not only never went up, the next move was actually down. And if we go take a look at the Fed fund future rate right now, uh, what you're going to see is that the traders uh, are basically betting that that's exactly what we're going to have. So look, this is what we have. Right now, we're 2.25 to 2.5. Uh, that's, a, that's an overnight bank rate. That's, that's how this thing shakes out. Okay. So your next, your next meeting is in May. You know, bottom line is that, uh, as a, so watch this, as, as a rate cut, you, you have, they, they, there's nothing out here on rate hikes. And it, it's all about rate cuts. It goes, the May meeting is saying you, you get a probability of a 2% rate cut. The June meeting goes up to 7. The July goes up to 13. The September goes up to 22. 22%. The October goes up to 28%. The December goes up to 38%. And the January goes up to 48%. There's going to be a rate cut versus a rate hike. So, Pretty wild uh, how this whole thing is shaking out. If we go up and we take a look at that 10-year, what you're going to see is that the 10-year barreled, T-Y-M, there we go. Come on, give me that. It barreled into the high out here today, monster volume as it's going into it. And this is a very large uh, move, folks, because uh, it very well could be a 6.8 A to B. Uh, C to D. If we, we've, we've been in this consolidation since the 3rd of January. Big number. If we go take a look at the TLT and if you want to see it in the uh, ETF structures, it's just wide open. It blew away this B point. B point on the uh, TLT was $122.23. Uh, you needed 6 million shares. You did 9. 
9.6. That's going to blow away the high out here from January 3rd. Now, this also could be a very large ABC up. And, and if it is, you get the uh, B point at uh, 123.86. Your A's at uh, 111. So we're get, talking about 12 points. And that's going to get you a buck 30 inside of the TLT. And that's going to get us up into a much larger range. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to get us. That's going to get us. This is pretty amazing, actually. That's going to get us back to uh, November of 2016, folks. That's how this thing uh, is shaking out right now. Gold contract. What do you have with the gold contract? Gold contract, uh, also a small ABC structure in the way up. It took out its B point, has the volume. Uh, gold needed this to get through the downdraft from March 1st. 1313, uh, 13, we're at right now. You did 354,000 contracts, took out, <coughs> excuse me, folks, took out the small B, B point. Uh, that B point being, we had volume out here of 248,000. That's saying 1320 is game. So we'll see how that shakes out when we get up there. If we take a look at the GDX, the equities uh, also had volume in there. GDX is, uh, was up 50 cents. We are at 2263. That's going to be going after the swing point up here of uh, 2297. And King Dollar, King Dollar finally gave it up once again. Uh, differential this time, well, we've had it a few times. Uh, you had volume on the way down, 25,000 contracts. Uh, you broke the swing point. You broke it with volume. That's saying good old King Dollar now wants to run down into this 94 mark. The real question is, is are we going to get um, follow through with volume as we get there? King Dollar, the bulls and the bears have been fighting over King Dollar since October 24th. Uh, what has happened each time that you go down, you get volume for a couple days, it dries up on the vine. You go upside, volume dries up in a second. Um, what I expect, the, the moving King Dollar, it's not going to be about uh, as much as the Fed is doing. That's going to be about what's going on in Europe also. What the Euro, Euro, what the Euro did do today, the Euro got a monster sign of strength when the dollar went south. Uh, Euro right now is trading at a price point of 114. That looks like uh, yeah, this is going to be a big move in the Euro, folks. Uh, Euro looks to me like it wants to run to this 139 area. Uh, pound, different animal. I, I believe Theresa May is actually speaking with her citizens right now about uh, Brexit, no Brexit. Um, what are they going to do? Dow Industrials closed down 141. NASDAQ up five. S&P's up nine and a half. Come right back.